For tens of thousands of years, we lived in groups of an average of 35 individuals. When we started to establish first villages, our population exceeded 200. This must have created an incredible pressure within the society itself, because so many people were living together for the first time. This was the first time that so many dwellings were living together. The gathering and concentration of people also raise the risk of potential problems among different groups. Demand for using the same hunting and gathering grounds might be one reason for this. Yet, the problems must have been solved somehow, as we can see that the orders they established lasted for a significant period of time. So, how did they settle their disputes? Göbekli Tepe like structures actually give us a clue in this regard as well. It is possible to suggest that such monumental structures provided people with mechanisms and bases for making joint decisions and promoting conflict resolution. Probably one of the most important functions of these meeting points was to absorb possible conflicts and to discuss and ease possible problem areas. Perhaps the prominent people of different groups, the elites or the elders were coming here. Conducting congregations accompanied by ceremonies, they must have developed measures to avoid conflicts or they had some knowledge to resolve emerging conflicts. Their decisions must have been considered to the benefit of the whole society and therefore obeyed fully.